Hey, just my 22 here. I keep running across creators that are concerned about how fake people are these days. And I mean, at least six or seven in the last couple days that I've run across and, and watched some videos. And people, people are fake. A lot of people are fake. I mean, what you see on their social media, the life that they're presenting, <laughs> it's not the life they're living in most cases. Some of them, yes, but in most cases, no. No, they're, they're dressing it up. They're, they're making it as pretty as possible. You know, it, it's, it's like a production, right? I mean, well, for instance, you might make a natural assumption that I'm in an office somewhere or I don't know, I have no idea, but that's a facade. You know, that's, that's because that's how I wanted it to look to make this video. It doesn't mean that I'm fake, right? I'm not fake. I'm just as real as the next guy. And so is this chest of drawers where I keep my socks and underwear, right? I'm not in an office somewhere. I'm in what used to be the back bedroom of my travel trailer. But I can, you know, turn on a lamp, put a nice little decoration there in the background, right? I've got my voice of reason sign that I made my my fake curtain right that just covers up the wall right point being that's life life is a facade you've got to be able to look beyond that okay you're looking for the real value the real nuts and bolts which typically is going to be what's being said or discussed, talked about, whatever, in the video. So, don't let any of that crap fool you. I hope you wouldn't. The point isn't for me to get on here and look, you know, as good as possible to make you guys think that I'm somewhere else. No, no. This is just because it's, to me, this is less distractionary than sitting at my dining room section of my travel trailer because there's so much else going on in the background. But at any rate, there seems to be a huge portion of society that is just yearning for authenticity, for real people. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention you guys would love my chair. <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't showing you. I'm not taking it all apart to show you all this crap. But I made a way for me to sit right here. But anyway, everybody's yearning for real, for authenticity. And I'm here to tell you that it's out there. There's a lot of people out there, myself included. I, you know, I choose to be around real, authentic people. Um, not necessarily people that share my viewpoint. Um, I lived in an echo chamber for far too long. If you don't know what an echo chamber is, you're probably in one. Uh, but that's when you're surrounded by a group of like-minded individuals that see things your way and reinforce your way of thinking. And you got to break that paradigm because everybody has something to offer to everybody um, you got to be able to wade through the bullcrap period because there's a lot of that out there there's a lot there are people that are fake there are people that just want to get over on you um, but I believe there's far fewer of them than there are of us real folks they're just louder they make more noise you know, they bang trash can lids together, they flash lights, they do stuff that is very attention grabbing. So they seem like this huge part of society, but, but 
what does a chicken hawk do if it's trapped in a cage and you try to get it out? When I bring that up because this happened when I was a teenager. We had a chicken hawk get caught in a raccoon trap. It was one of the most awesome experiences I've ever had in my life because we approached the trap. Of course, now this is what a chicken hawk does when you approach it and it's in a trap. It throws its wings up and back and it tries to make itself look as big as it possibly can. It wants you to think, oh hell no, <laughs> I ain't messing with that thing. So it makes itself appear bigger than it is. It makes itself appear more frightening than it is. And life does the same thing and people do the same thing, right? We inflate everything. I mean, I don't, but pe people in general, and I know there's a lot of others that don't, but in general, people inflate things, right? Like I went fishing the other day and man, you should have seen the, it was this, it was, I mean, it was this big. Every time you tell the story, your hands get two inches farther apart. That's just a stupid little example and everybody's aware that that happens, but if it happens with fishing stories or, you know, hunting stories where the deer had a rack, that it'll happen with everything. It'll happen with geopolitical situations. It'll happen with what he said, she said, they said, you know, it happens everywhere. But you, that's, that's the difference between a 35,000 foot view and a, you know, microscope. When you're looking through a microscope, you can see great detail in a teensy tiny little spot. You have no idea what's going on around that spot because you're zeroed in through that microscope. And a telescope can show you something that's so far away, but still, you're only gonna see that little speck, that little spot, the field of observation. You're not gonna see anything around that. That's called myopia, and a lot of people suffer from myopia. You're so zoomed in on something, so hyper-focused on something, you don't see what's going on around you in the bigger picture of the world. And that, you know, there's gonna be people like that. There has to be. Otherwise, people like me couldn't exist because see, yin and yang, light and dark, cold and hot, balance it's always seeking balance so my existence depends upon the existence of those that suffer from myopia unfortunately and I'm not gonna be able to wake all those people up it's not even my job to do so and it's taken me a long time to realize that we are at a point now where if well let's just put it this way sides have been chosen what the way you believe You've made up your mind at this point. And the, re the reason I say that is with everything that's going on geopolitically around the world through all the different crap, if you still feel the way you felt before all this crap, your mind is made up. If something has opened your eyes through everything that's happened in the last four years, then you changed in the last four years and a, and a substantial portion of society did that they they their eyes got opened up right well there's still a substantial very large portion of society that's asleep they're so myopic they're they're so self-centered they don't understand that it only takes one drop of hemlock to ruin you know, a, a, a gallon of water. And the world is the gallon of water and they are the drop of hemlock and they don't see it. They don't understand. But it's not my job or your job to make them see or understand. At this point, if they don't, they won't. Anyhow, I'm going to try and keep this at 10 minutes, point of the video is there are a lot more real, authentic people out there than you think. Love you guys. Have a good one.